Kia ora, I'm Sherry Kinnear and this is the COVID-19 news update for Wednesday. The Ministry of Health has reported a record 24 COVID-related deaths today. Three of those people died in Northland, seven in Auckland, seven in Waikato, two in the Bay of Plenty, two in Mid-Central and two in Wairarapa. One person was in their 40s, one in their 50s and the remaining 22 all aged over 60. Meanwhile, there were 19,542 new community cases of COVID-19 today and 971 people in hospital, including 21 in intensive care. As the number of beds fill up around the country, about 60% of the 300 intensive care and high dependency unit beds in New Zealand are occupied so far. The average age of those currently in hospital with COVID is 58. But the actual case numbers could be much higher as health officials believe testing is only picking up half of the total positive cases in Auckland and Northland. Earlier, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern said New Zealand is ready to welcome the world back, announcing new dates to open up our borders. Australia will be able to come to New Zealand without isolating from 11.59pm on April 12th. Fully vaccinated travellers from visa waiver countries will be able to enter the country from 11.59pm on May the 2nd. And Ardern said the government wanted to clearly signal New Zealand was keen to supercharge its economic recovery. Our strong health response, including having the lowest death rate in the OECD over the past two years, is now also an asset. We are a safe place to visit, and New Zealand will be ready with open arms. In particular, I look forward to welcoming back our trans-Tasman travellers, who have historically made up 40% of our international arrivals, around 1.5 million Australians. They will be able to arrive in time for the Australian school holidays, and provide a particular boost for our coming winter ski season. Ardern added that announcements about vaccine mandates and passes will be made next week. She indicated vaccine passes would be less justified after the Omicron peak and that rules around the passes and the traffic light system would be reviewed. And that's the latest COVID-19 news. For more and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.